My name is Sunny and I'm a recent graduate from the University of Southern California with a Bachelor of Science in Neuroscience and a Bachelor of Arts in Cognitive Science. The three good things about majoring in neuroscience at USC. The first thing that I want to say is the major itself is very flexible. So at USC, um, for the general courses, you have general biology, general chemistry, which you have to take as a requirement. But once you get into upper div courses, so once you get into your junior year, senior year, you have a lot more flexibility in choosing your courses. So you can take more psych courses if you want, or if you're more interested in biology or chemistry, you can do that. It's kind of creating your own major. So from that flexibility, that goes into the second good thing, which is diversity. So you get to really explore a lot of different things you can do with this neuroscience degree. Then you can test what exactly do I want to do with neuroscience? Do I want to go into maybe more psychology and like therapy? Or do I want to hone in on biology and chemistry or like become a medical doctor? And the last good thing about USC is kind of the opportunities that it offers. It is located in Los Angeles, which is one of the biggest cities in America. There's a lot of hospitals. So if you're interested in becoming a medical doctor, you can volunteer and get your clinical hours. Um, you can also do a lot of research. USC really wants you and it promotes a lot of research opportunities for undergraduates, which might not be the case in other universities. So it has a lot of great professors who take undergrad students and you can learn a lot from research as well. So a lot of opportunities to figure out what you want to do. The difficulties that I faced in pursuing neuroscience at USC was when I felt like I was wasting time. So taking classes that didn't really seem to correlate to what I wanted to do. Because as you go through your years at, in your college, your what you want to do hopefully gets more specified and that's what happened to me but when i had to take for example general biology courses general chemistry courses i'm like but this is not really what i want to go into so it was really hard to keep myself motivated in taking those classes but at the end i think coming out of all these courses i could feel that i've become a more well-rounded student and it's really surprising to see where the little things you learned in these classes that seem totally unrelated later pop up in your classes that seem much more close to what you actually want to pursue. So at the end, it all worked out. But while I was in the moment, I was pretty suffering. Mm.